All right, in two customs, and this particular run happened accidentally while I was trying to record something else, which definitely seems to be the way quite a lot of the time now. Uh, we are going to lose our pig here on turn one to the mosquitoes. Pretty common occurrence. I feel like if I take pig, it virtually guarantees a, a loss or a draw on the early turns. And we're just going to immediately combine the fish together. I think that might have been a mistake there, but it doesn't matter. We find a second ant. And I do have the Cuddle Toad in the uh, the pack, which is pretty unusual for me. And that's partly because the team I was going for was a level up team. Now using Cuddle Toad for the experience, uh, you rarely see anyone do that. Uh, you can see here Magic One in the middle. Most people are just gonna take Witch's Broom because it's just miles better than the other two. Hoping for one experience to randomly hit the fish is um, a bit optimistic. But we get double guinea pig here, so we'll take the level up, and unfortunately I don't find anything I'm looking for. I am looking for flying fish uh, on tier 3, and uh, I think I'm going to cut out a little bit here, because I sat for a long time thinking about whether or not to take either of these two pets, and in the end I'm actually just going to ignore them. Now I am making a little bit of a mistake here with the Ogopogo. Obviously the fish should be at the front in order to cause the level up. Well, I don't think it would have made any difference here because we face uh, Axandal Hound and we instantly lose the double guinea pig. You definitely take your life into your hands when you're playing duplicates in the early turns and customs. There are quite a lot of uh, dedicated Axandal Hound players out there now. So if you play the doubles, just be aware that you're very likely to uh, automatically lose some of these early turns. So we, we correct the mistake and move the fish to the front so we get some stats, both from the uh, the level up effect, but also the um, the lamp from the Sphinx. Definitely one of my favorite new uh, tier two units. I feel like it's very, very useful for some of these um, early game runs when you're trying to create a, an unusual team. So we'll take the level up there. We actually get rid of the Sphinx just as I start praising it. And Guinea Pig up to eight, nine already. So uh, we didn't find the flying fish, which is what I'm looking for. Uh, obviously it's a tier 3, um, but we do find the seagull, which is going to be uh, very useful for this particular run. Seagull was involved in the team I was actually trying to make, so um, I was picking it up regardless. And we don't actually have anything to level up now, so we just put the stork up front. We're probably better just to give the extra 1-1 one, one to the guinea pig. But maybe I was thinking about the stork that I already had in the shop. And there is the flying fish. So I think guinea pig will just sell it and bring the flying fish in now so it can start um, gaining some stats. And since we do have this stork, it does mean that uh, um, we are going to give some stats to it. The Ogopogo is already going to level it up, so the flying fish isn't going to do any leveling. Um, in fact, it's going to do nothing because it gets deleted by the, uh, the fig. And uh, we're going to lose here. Now, something that is kind of interesting about this recording session was that I was starting to play units that I rarely played. Um, and I was also starting to see a lot of opposing teams doing the same thing. And that's definitely been a bit of a kind of like an urban legend in uh, SAP that um, the matchmaking system pairs you up with people uh, playing the same builds. And um, definitely could just be a confirmation bias or, or something like that. But um, we are going to take the Easter egg. So something that I've been taking more often in packs, I think uh, Monty is ultra strong. Um, usually I don't, um, uh, I don't have any reason to take it because I, you know there are other uh, foods on that tier that I, that I would probably ta auto take in most packs. But with this kind of um, summoning build with the seagull, you can see there the, the damage output from Monty is just absolutely crazy. Because even with a, a small amount of buffs from the turkey, every buff counts double in terms of attack. Uh, here, classic uh, customs team from the modern era, which is uh, Chupacabra plus four scalers. Um, and uh, we don't have enough uh, Montes here to get through the rest of their squad. But that's going to change fairly soon because um, once we get level two Seagull, we're going to start um, creating a bit of a loop. And now we find a white tiger. So white tiger was one of the pets that I was considering for uh, the EXP build that I was originally going for. So we're going to buy it now, give it an Easter egg. And then uh, clownfish is there. I don't, can't remember if I take it or not. Obviously it makes a lot of sense with white tiger, 
but maybe I, I'm looking for something else at this point. We will go for the level up on the turkey. So White Tiger makes the stork level 3. Monty uh, gets a easter egg and we end up clearing the rooster there. And luckily this team has a rat. Rat is very rare to see in customs so uh, the turkeys end up giving the dirty rats some uh, some good stats there. So I think yeah we'll level the turkeys. I don't think we find anything we want but we do actually get uh, another flying fish so I think did I, I sold flying fish earlier and now I'm rebuying it and I think we're gonna level up the flying fish so that means that uh, Monty that spawns from the white tiger is gonna become level two on top of getting the stats from the turkey and Monty's ability is um, quite unusual in terms of uh, token pets in that it scales with level. So it actually means that uh, you're gonna get, yeah, there we go, level two Monty. So instead of doing double damage, it now does triple damage. And uh, even with a, a fairly low statted Monty, you know, 12 attack doing 36 damage for every hit, uh, you're gonna be KOing an awful lot of units with 36 damage on turn 10. Uh, but it's only gonna go up because once we get uh, Monty to level three, that's going to mean um, it's going to do uh, quadruple damage. So we find the team spirit here. I think I'm going to get rid of the stork because the summon from the stork isn't even really necessary at this point. It's the uh, the Monty summoning that uh, is doing all the good work. So team spirit gets some buffs from the turkey, gains another Easter egg. And now we can position in such a way that the seagull takes the level up from the white tiger and the flying fish is also going to get the EXP. Uh, this this team is actually very funny, this opposing team. Um, I, I faced this same team, and they may have already been in another video. I don't know, maybe 50 games in a row. So, something crazy like that. Every single game I was getting matched with this this opposing team. Um, even though the, the person uh, seemed to be playing other teams as well, um, that uh, the Moody others, I think I've also seen them in a few other videos as well, um, very unusual matchmaking. So we actually rolled past the mammoth there and I think I've now changed my mind that I would quite like to just sell the turkey now. I think the uh, the extra stats onto the Monty is probably not even going to be necessary anymore. 58 damage from a 15 attack Monty and yeah complete overkill. You know the tiger there 50 health and Monty just demolishes it. So we don't even need the four other units on our squad there. The, the Monty loop was good enough. So we're going to try and get uh, Team Spirit leveled up as well, which we do. And I think now I can just uh, sell the turkey and buy the mammoth. Um, or maybe I still think I need the actual uh, buffs from the turkey to get through these opposing teams. Now this is a very strange opposing team. Level 3, 50, 50, um, Hydra at the back. And the rest of the squad looks like base stats. But Monty one-shots the 50-50 unit, and then five Hydra Head spawn. That's pretty rare to see that. Um, I wonder if they were setting up for um, trying to go for solo Hydra or something like that. So, nine wins, turn 14. We get double Mammoth here, so I should just sell the uh, turkey. We can trigger a level up from the Team Spirit immediately. So everything gets permanent, plus two, plus four. We find another seagull, although we don't actually need it because the white tiger instant level threes it. And it actually matches us with opposing Monty and three rabbits. Their Monty does 103, uh, actually 129 damage. Um, but the remaining Montys, even without the turkey buffs, are going to do a lot of damage. The level up from the flying fish, giving them enough stats to just one shot those big units. So accidental full team of Easter eggs. Very surprising how strong that is.